Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so excited because my order from Sephora just came in from um, the Sephora sale. Like literally was just dropped off at my front door and I could not wait to sit down and go through all of this with you and try some of the stuff out. I haven't placed a makeup order in so long, so I'm so giddy. So I'll first like go through and show you what I picked up and you know, I'll start putting on some makeup and we'll try everything out or possibly not everything, but a lot of it. So I just had a birthday, so I did pick up my birthday gift, which I feel like they've gotten better with the birthday gifts. They used to just like do the same things every year and now I feel like they switch it up and they give you options. So I got the Tatcha set, comes with the cream cleanser, the dewy skin moisturizer, and a little sample of the, the primer. So excited to try that. Um, I also used some of my points to get this Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. I've heard good things about this and I really love a hydrating toner. So excited to try that as well. Mostly makeup stuff but two skincare items. So the first being um, also by Laneige. This is their lip sleeping mask and I got it in vanilla. I just recently went through my entire jar of this. I had it in I think the berry flavor or, or no it was mint I think. Um, but I keep this on my nightstand and I swear to God, it lasted me like three years. It, you just like only need a tiny bit and it lasts so long. Um, so I got this again cause I was really missing it. So excited to have that. Also, I ordered my, one of my all time favorite sunscreens, the Super Goop Play. Now I ordered the mini of this because I just wanted it just for my face. I already have a large one that I use on my body and they sent me the big one. But I just checked my order. I was like, did I make a mistake or did they? And I just checked my order and it says mini, so they made the mistake, but I'm not complaining. Okay, also picked up the Benefit Brow Pencil, the ultra fine tip, what's it called? Precisely My Brow. I've just heard a lot of good things about this and now that my microblading wore off, I wanted to know like what people were liking nowadays for, for filling in their eyebrows. So I'm really excited to, to use this. Got two Makeup by Mario products. Actually, I got three, but one thing is sh shipped separately for some reason. I don't know why, but I got this powder blush. Now, I'm not usually a powder blush person, but I have heard good things about these blushes. So I got the shade Poppy Pink, and um, it just looks like a really pretty pink blush. So I'm gonna try that. So exciting. This feels like Christmas. I also got, this is what I'm so excited about, and I got two of these, but, cause most of them are sold out. So I got the two that were still in stock, um, Apricot Glow, and then I have, I forget what it's called, but it's the mauve one is what shipped separately. Um, but yeah, it looks like this. It's the, sorry, it's the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. All, I people just can't stop talking about these and as someone who hates lipstick and loves a tinted balm oh this doesn't turn back down by the way that's scary um, I'm so excited people go crazy for these and they just look so beautiful and I got two Danessa Myricks color fixes I was stalking her Instagram the other day and just watching her use everything and she just makes you want everything so she was in the video I was watching, she was using these two shades on her model, and it just, I needed it. I needed it immediately. So one is a matte, and that's this shade, and it's called Exposed, and I thought this would be, it's kind of like a, just like a matte neutral brown. I thought this would be like a good everyday color, but then she put this over it, and this is a foil. This is in Jewels. I think this is a new one, but look at this like duochrome. It's like pink and green. She put that over it and oh my god, it looked so good. And then the last thing I got was kind of a splurge and definitely an impulse purchase. It's the Natasha Denona Pastel Palette. And this is what I have to try today. I'm dying to try the Vanessa Myricks, but I feel like this might be more of like a nighttime look. But like you guys, how can I resist? I mean, 
did I need this? Absolutely not. Could I resist it? Also no. So, I mean, just like, look, this pink, this pink, this lavender, this purple, this peach, like I was just dying at all of them. So I just had to have it. Okay, well, before I get started, I think we have to just, I'll do the, another video using the Danessa colors, but I feel like we have to just do a little swatch for now. So here's the, make sure this is in focus. Here's the exposed. And then we'll put, let's do jewel by itself, just so, or jewels, just so we can see what it looks like. It's really just like really sheer, but just like a, a foil topper. So really pretty on its own, but like you're not gonna really get color. But wait till we put it over top. It looked so good. Okay. My hands are so dry. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of the sunscreen just as like my base. I'm gonna use a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless I'm sorry if you hear my fan going um, I have my ceiling fan on because it is so hot today I was like it, it's like almost 100 degrees we just like got a heat wave and I have my air on but in this room because it's an addition it's not as well insulated so it can get kind of warm on a really hot day like this. So I have to have it on, otherwise my makeup's gonna melt off. Also, I was literally waiting by the door because it said my Sephora package was gonna be delivered today and I was so worried about this in particular because it's already like a really soft bomb. So I was like, looked like a crazy person, I'm sure, to the delivery person because the second he left it, I was like, came out like a little troll and like snatched it away. All right, just gonna do my NARS. I really wanted to get the Tower 28 tinted sunscreen but they were sold out in my shade but it looks so good and it looks like exactly my kind of vibe um so really upset about that but that's okay I really don't need it I just wanted it I mean frankly I didn't need any of this but but I needed it you know what I mean it's like Armani concealer doing this really fast because I'm so impatient Okay, okay, okay. Now we can finally move on to brows. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Kind of fancy. And then, oh, good. I'm glad it has a spoolie. I hate when eyebrow products don't have a spoolie on the end. Um, oh, a hummingbird. I literally put a hummingbird feeder in the front of the house the other day because we get a lot of hummingbirds in the back because we have like a bunch of flowers that they like. Um, but I was like, what if I'm sitting on the porch and I want to look at a hummingbird? So I literally got a feeder and now it's back here like looking around for food and I'm like, buddy, in the front. <laughs> now for the product. I got the shade, what is it? Neutral Medium Brown, 3.5. Okay, let's go. I still have like an Anastasia pencil, like, and that was like what everybody was obsessed with back when I got it and then I got microblading and in the pro and stopped filling in my brows and everybody abandoned Anastasia and got on the um, benefit train and now that my microblading faded I was like okay I need to still be relevant what do I need and so I got this this is a lot more pigmented than the Anastasia, so I'm not used to it. I'm not like obsessed with it yet. I think I still need some more time. All right, I think we're, we're good for now. So I'm just gonna put my brow gel on. I'm just gonna forget. I'm just gonna sit with it, you know? 
think it looks fine. I'm going to do bronzer and I'm going to use my Makeup by Mario like huge. Just for a little definish. And I'm going to have to powder my face to do the powder blush. And I hate powdering my face, but it's kind of necessary. I don't know, maybe I... Who is slamming doors? Maybe I won't need to. It, do it doesn't feel that like emollient. I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay. Now... I'm going to do a little bit of a layering with blush because because I want to. So I'm going to take also by Mario this cream blush in pale petal and just like kind of create like a little base for the powder because I'm kind of really wanting like a nice pretty pink cheek. Like I don't really want it to be that subtle. Like I want to look like nice and flushed. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of powder just because I'm scared. I'm gonna use the Kosas, which is the only powder I like pretty much. I'm just do a little under my eye so it doesn't crease. And then um, just kind of press it on the rest of my face. I don't mind this powder as much because it doesn't look or feel like powder. You can still see like the glowiness. Okay, okay. Now for the blush. I haven't used powder blush in so long, so I'm kind of scared. I think these are really pigmented. <gasps> it is very pigmented. I like don't know how to use powder anymore. How do you blend it? Oh my god, I'm scared. It's truly been so long. Loving it. I'm like barely touching the powder. It's so pigmented. Oh, I'm loving this. I feel like a little doll. Yes. Okay, now for the eyes. I really like this. Okay, for the eyes, I'm gonna put this Urban Decay eye primer on. I don't even know if this is good. It's just what I have. I'm really lazy when it comes to primers. I just like, I don't know, it feels like an extra step that for some reason I feel very resistant to. Okay, now let's take a look. What are we thinking? I'm really feeling some pink. I think it'll especially look good with the blush, but also like this green or this purple. I'm definitely feeling matte, I think, over shimmer. Hmm. But then this peach is so good. Oh, what if I did... Mm, hang on. Okay, I think I'm going to do the blue and the peach. I don't really have a full plan yet. Okay, pretty. It's pretty pigmented. These are pigmented. I'm kind of actually surprised. I feel like some pastels are hard. They're not usually that pigmented. Okay, so, mmm. All right, so now I'm gonna take the peach. I'm gonna like, do it in the crease but kind of like up towards the brow as like kind of a transition shade I don't know I'm just kind of going wild I want like even more blue because I have like hooded lids when I open them you can only see like a peekaboo blue and I want like it to be more washed out so 
I'm gonna just like keep my eye open and take it further up. Which kind of defeats the purpose of the peach, but we're just like taking it as it comes, you know? Maybe I'll take, I'll do the peach like right at the brow bone. Just like a hint of warmth. Oh, that's pretty. Mascara time. Okay, Ilya mascara. Should I take out, you know what, I'll wait till the mascara dries before I take those out. But time for the lips. So this is Apricot Glow. They twist up, but they don't twist back down. I'm gonna take off the lip balm. So apparently they're plumping as well. I don't have high hopes for that. I'm more just like interested in the actual. Okay, this is so soft. And I don't even think it's from it being melted. Like it doesn't even feel melted. It's just extremely soft. Oh. See, I wasn't sure about this color, but I'm really feeling it. I feel like it's a good summer. The flavor feels really subtle. Hopefully it won't bother me. It's really pretty though. Look at it. It looks like a gloss. Mmm. Okay, I officially love everything I got. Let me know what you guys thought about this makeup look and if I should do another video using this palette and trying some other colors. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.